they cannot let you go so if you're watching this tarot reading if this reached you for a reason so everybody will not be seeing this video and also if you see this doesn't really mean it for you okay but if it resonates with you this is your reading listen i'm channeling energy of a person it's a very childish person it's like they do love you so much and they they and it's the couple that i'm channeling is for there's lots of love lots of love and they love each other so much but they fight a lot and this fight so recently that fight happened it's like a very very trivial thing everything was going fine with a very small thing it fight and then you stop talking and there was a long period there was no talk going on i think in it happened in the past also but i think this time both of you are holding on to your ego strongly you are saying i'm not gonna go and they are also saying i'm not gonna go and both of the like people are suffering in their own life but nobody is just going forward and messaging each other but this person i think this is the longest time you are not talking this this um, you know the, in this relationship but this person is now thinking like what exactly happened did you move on but i cannot let you go i need a second chance all right so yeah, i'm feeling like they are coming forward with a flower it's like a that's what i'm seeing actually so let us see what else this person wants to say they whatever this fight happened like whatever it is it is very trivial i would say this the channel the part that connection i'm channeling you know very well that this is not over so if that sounds quite like you're reading this is might be your reading but again if you want to book a paid private reading email me at divine mother's guidance at gmail.com and also uh, my only youtube channel let sastero please subscribe to my youtube channel to support your didi that's a really really big help for me and my only uh, tiktok account divine mother's guidance with 132k plus followers and my only uh, instagram account divine mother's guidance with 3900 plus followers camera steal my video i will never follow you offer you a dm reading bluff something this person did hide from you something you did hide from them something was hidden came up and that's where the fight started but also i think i believe that this person is wearing a false mask also there might be showing on the surface that they don't care you might be seeing on the social media they are doing very good if they have social media if they follow it provided if 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 you don't fantastic um they're looking like thinking uh missing you craving desiring you as i said like they're missing you badly but even though they are not showing it they're missing you badly badly and i'm sensing you are also missing them i think you are listening to my lecture moving on and doing all those things but a hard part of you is overhand and you are feeling like oh my gosh how it can be even possible they are not coming back did they forget me no they did not they're missing you they are missing you okay don't be an idiot you know your person loves you you know this is a very specific divine feminine it this is a very connection like a soulmate or a twin flame whatever you resonate i do not promote but you know if this is a connection you know very strong connection so don't feel that that they forgot you they don't remember you they do they message they miss you a lot i think there will be a communication coming from them okay i'm feeling like a communication coming from them hoping expecting faith manifesting you are manifesting them they are manifesting you this connection is a very strong connection when both of you are madly in love with each other it's kind of a strong bond like a divine connection as you as i said but both of you have so much ego you don't want to go forward they don't want to come forward i think this is not the first time you guys are doing this i don't think so karma consequences cause and effect depths all right so this person probably um, in some cases it cannot be so for everyone i'm picking up that they might be with the karmic uh, they might have some karmic in their side or you might have some karmic in your side so if that is the case remember that no matter wherever you are if they are doing their karma it doesn't really mean that they forgot you are doing something we come in this life with past life karma so many people we come with so we need to pay the, those karmic debts back so if they are with somebody else at this moment you know in a situation like they are married with somebody or something like that that's their karmic uh, because you are coming as a divine feminine and divine masculine connection so this the karmic so let them do their karma when the karma will be over they will be released from those karmic bonds and ka if, if it is your your connection it sounds like you are kind of a divine counterpart and the karmics and actually come in their life to actually help them to release those karma and they actually push you them back to you so trust the process hail yourself keep moving forward so if this is your connection if this is your reading definitely this person will be sent back to you from the you know back family uh, fertility parenthood pregnancy so that can be the karmic because um also uh, you might have some um you might have children with them um or children might be around them i believe this family is the karma of them like it don't have to be a romantic partner it can be a mother father whoever it is they're feeling quite broken without you they're feeling quite broken without you 
hopeless they're feeling hopeless i think you both are feeling hopeless sinking despair falling apart you are feeling like this is over this is not going to come back to me anymore perspective better off happiness clear head space so i think both of you seeing trying to seeing different perspective of the story i think uh, the time when you became like so angry and you both pushed each other away and decided no i'm not going to see their face ever again so quite time has passed so now you started feeling in a clear head space both of you both of you this person also going through a clear head space and they are understanding oh my gosh i overreacted or i just uh, did something wrong they are much more in a clear head space that is why they are feeling like probably this time you are walking away so this is going to be disaster that's what they are thinking i'm not saying this is going to be disaster um silence frozen no words stone wall yeah you guys for like they probably stone wall you i think this person has a tendency of stone wall stone walling if there any fight happens they will stone wall you this is what i'm picking up on this person conflicted very conflicted at their mind right now they're very very conflicted very very conflicted they don't know what to do they are part of them is telling them to come forward but they don't know what to do what will you do what will you do past life deja vu repeated patterns karmic lesson see this karmic thing again coming up and patterns repeated patterns i believe you might have go gone through this kind of situation again and again with this person i think they might have done this no contact stone walling again and again to you also there is a past life connection card is coming up so there might be past life connection and also with the karmic lesson they have might have karmic in some cases karmics can be a very strong presence that can be their mother their job their work karma can be a lot of things shallow hollow empty boredom they're feeling very shallow and hollow without them you know without you empty but at the end of the day what are you going to do running ghosting disappearing invisible so they run they, they were running they were ghosting from ghosting you foundation established family security and that is coming with realization epiphany is understanding awakening so now this this two cards coming jumping together i believe this person now understanding the foundation of this relationship that this relationship is not based on anything you know superficial it's a very deep connection very very deep connection i think that is the realization this person is doing that's why they probably will run uh, the, they were running and they just, just don't want to do this twin fucking flames divine feminine there twin fucking flames listen I don't promote this but if you believe that you are in a true in flame you know why I do not promote it doesn't it doesn't really because I don't believe it I strongly believe in true in flame connection I strongly believe in okay I'm a big believer of true in flame connection but you know why I don't promote it it is because people misunderstand it some people don't understand what is a true in flame and what is a narcissist if you see an on and off connection age difference abusive partner they start saying no that's not true in flame connection it's a divine connection no matter how much you are angry you cannot hate that person you love them and you feel the union inside no matter whether they are talking to you or not talking to you they are thousands of miles away from you you feel they are always with me and when you see them you feel like that's me walking in a different body if that is you feel for your person you know the best thing you can do to this connection do not focus on their karmic do not for focus on what they are they are with if it is a twin flame they might be with their karmics right now you know what you're going to do right now you just need to heal yourself heal yourself start healing yourself whoever you are you resonate with the divine feminine or divine masculine i don't care start healing yourself when you start healing yourself focus on yourself love yourself connect to your higher self you heal your twin flame so if you believe that you are in kind of a journey that comes back to the same thing heal yourself love yourself focus on yourself self love more you do this more quicker the union happens okay so this is what i would like to tell you mistakes misunderstand victim and lost soul definitely they are understanding their mistake this person is big time understanding their mistake trapped and what is the last card longing craving um um uh, aching wanting so they definitely feeling trapped in the situation in the karmic situation that they feel all the time and open heart reciprocate empathy vulnerable so i believe this person wants to open their heart and you know come forward because this person is feeling quite stuck in the situation okay they are not happy in the situation at all so with this thing i just want to check will you communicate if that is your situation will you communicate show me if you going to communicate not yet there are a lot of blockages not yet i think this person needs to go through a lot of karmic lesson um that's really good hierophant and the star card 
so there might be this is a very social cultural differences as a typical twin flame situation might happen like they might be di different age um, social structure different different religion long distance relationships and stuff like that so show me with five cards will you communicate oh they're thinking about you all the time the same thing is here judgment justice nine of wands five of wands page of wands the bottom of the deck so i would say page of wands with this one that is also a card of communication um they are quite right now in their headspace still going hot and cold but they're missing you big time they're thinking about you all the time they're going through a lot of transformation karmics are there so definitely but they will do the justice to the situation there are still blockages this person still is mind fucked but the communication will come this situation will restore and if it is a twin flame anyways the universe will kick your ass and bring you together listen excuse me if this is your situation what are you gonna do right now as you know even if you believe your twin flame if you don't believe in your twin flame if you don't believe in any shit like that please focus on yourself heal yourself be connected to your higher self listen to your intuition you know love yourself put yourself back on pedestal this is the way heal your childhood trauma this is the way you connect to your higher self and when you heal higher connect to your higher self if that person is meant to be in your life if they are your their twin flame or soulmate they will come back to your life so the best thing you can do to yourself right now is love yourself live every day at one day at a time start focusing on yourself and keep doing your own life okay this person they are missing you they're going to come back to you but again it's a collective reading if it is not resonating with you if you don't feel the way it is expressed in this reading it's not your person simple book a private one okay take care